In advertising, an idea is an organizing thought that can come to life in multiple different channels and with multiple different messages. For instance, for PlayStation, the line was greatness awaits, but the idea was to invite, inspire, and challenge gamers to their greatness. This helped organize all the work that we needed to create on the account. My name is Julian Cole, and I was lucky enough to work on the strategy for PlayStation. Now I'm a strategy trainer at the Planning Dirty Academy. I'm also a strategy consultant to leading brands like Uber, Facebook, Disney, Apple, and Snap. If you're after more strategy tools and resources, subscribe to this channel. Let's hear more about what an idea is with Danish Chan, co-founder and strategy director of Untangled. It's a new solution to a problem. And I think that's the difference between what we do in advertising and creativity than what engineering would do, which is they would have ideas or they would have strategies and plans and ideas even. But I think we cherish the innovative newness part of what we do a lot, which is no one solved it like this before. And I think that's why we that's what we reference as an idea mm. like the and also why to the where does the strategy end and idea start for me is really blurry sometimes because if you're a creative strategist there tends to be a newness to your strategy which then feeds into the idea naturally so like my my example would be in a previous life worked with pet insurance and we're launching a new pet insurance product for a brand that hadn't done pet insurance before mm. and we did you know how do we launch a new product as a car insurance brand speaking to pet talking about pets so interesting challenge and then we worked out that pets like the human pet insight was that pets have an unnatural confidence that means they get themselves into trouble. They chase the cars, tiny dogs chase cars and cats jump up balconies and they're just crazy, stupid, confident. Mm. And so why, why not position pet insurances over confidence insurance? And so humanizing something which is quite rational and from a buyer perspective into something which solves a problem, which is your pets are overconfident, cover them, reframed a commodity into something that was emotional and solved a positioning problem. Yeah. So I always love that idea because it's it naturally spoke to an insight about pet owners and the, the way they humanize their pets, but also an insight into pets and insight into the category. And like, it kind of brought everything together quite nicely. Yeah.